Hello, a very good afternoon to you. Now, I've come in special this afternoon just for this hour. This is going to be repeated at 7 o'clock tonight as well. So uh, if you do not manage to catch it all, then do tune in again at 7 o'clock. Now, I'm looking forward to this so much because I'll tell you why. Viva Decor, fantastic company based in Germany, uh, fabulous products. I was given these paints yesterday when I left the studio. So I only had a matter of a few hours to play around with them last night and I was hooked. So I hope you're going to stay with me because these are something very, very different. Now, let's have a look at what we've got for you. All will become clear in the demonstrations, but let's have a look at the details of the items we've got. Now, the first set we've got, one item number but we've got different uh, different options for you here there's three different options all together you've got your viva decor six 90 milliliter blob paints and your stencil kit now there's a reason why they're called blob paints it's not just a funny name there is a specific reason why and you will see why let me just show you the first option though it's our dandelion so you get a huge stencil with this and if that stencil isn't making a lot of sense at the moment then it will do as we go through the hour so this one is made specifically to go with this particular kit now i am going to show you the image on the front of the box because it will make a little bit more sense there as well um, i don't think we might have a picture we can bring up on the screen actually but on the box you do get a lovely image let's bring it up for you so we can see it there you are so you can understand now how this is going to work so the stencil itself forms kind of a dandelion head um, and then of course there you can see it in its full glory there then you use the paint to create these fantastic blobs it is so so clever now the colors i've got to say this is probably my favorite kit this one because the colors in it are just so me you've got all sorts in here we've got gray in there we've got turquoise we've got petrol as well which is beautiful then down at the front here we have magenta we also have a white and we have the rose as well so a pale pink there for you at 90 milliliters each per paint pot there's a lot of paint in each tub so it works out at a great price if you break that down 26.99 185.635 that's the first option we've got two more to show you so flower meadow is our next one different colors for you we've got some bright purples in here we've got orange and yellow as well we'll go through the colors in a second um, i'll show you the box again i don't know if we've got a, a, a full image of everything i'm not sure about this oh we have apparently so we'll show you those as well so you can really make a sense of what you can achieve now obviously you're getting the stencil and it's a different one in this set i will show you what you're getting but you don't have to use a stencil with the paint. There's lots of different ways you can use it. And I will explain as we go through the demonstrations. But this is the stencil that you're getting with this particular option. Obviously, this can be used completely with other items as well. If you want to use your texture paste, your paints, your sprays, that sort of thing as well. But this is what you can achieve with the blob paint. Very, very bright colours indeed. You need to see these. They're so, so clever. Now, we've got another option for you under the same item number. This is our Balloon Girl. So, again, we've got different colours and a different stencil. So, here she is. Here's our Balloon Girl. And you're thinking, well, where's the balloons? I can't see any balloons there. Well, that's because you create your own balloons using the paint, of course. There we are. That's what you can achieve with this one. Isn't it wonderful? So again, such bright colours. This is so different for, for me to do. It was I just had such a ball last night when I was playing with these. One item number, as I say, three different options there. 185, 635, 26 99 is the price. Now, Dandelion is the one in the lead, and I've got to say, it is my particular favourite as well. Um, we'll be seeing more of that a little bit later on. But we do have more for you. Continuing with the paints, we've got a whole pack of seven individual pots here. Now, the colours, really love the colours again. You've got a mixture of the brights and you've got darks and the white in there as well. So if we have a look at the different colours, we've got red. We've got the rose in this one. We do have orange. We've got a black in here as well. We've got blue, we've got white and we've got the light green really really lovely now if i just show you this little book this is one of my uh, i was just playing last night with one or two samples and bits and pieces and i created the front of uh, this little journal which i thought you know it's so unusual isn't it if i just turn this around you can see the dimension on the paint this is what sets it apart from other paints i've never seen anything like this before until I started looking into this, did a bit of research, I've never seen paints that work in the same way and it's so easy to achieve. 
I think we might have another picture for you coming up as well. Uh, we'll show you some more a little bit later on because we've got all sorts of goodies to show you that have been sent in from Viva Decor. Now moving down, we've got more paints for you, a different set this time. This is our neon, so if you want those really bright, those fluorescent colours, this is the set for you. $16.99, you're getting three, uh, sorry, four different colours. You're getting the green, you're getting the orange, the pink and the yellow, all neon. I have got a sample that's part done at the back here as well, just to show you the colours. Look how bright these are. We're got, probably doing a little bit more work onto this one because it's not finished. This is so intriguing. If you've never seen this paint before, stay with me. Now we've got more for you as well because we have got some stamps and we've got to pick a mix. And I've got to say, take advantage of this because the price is incredible. Any two for 11 99 Now these stamps have been chosen because they work very well with the paints I'm going to be using, but also they're standalone as well. So, if, you know, if you're not going for the paints, it doesn't stop you going for the, the uh, stamps as well. These are really beautiful. We've got all sorts of different themes. We've got swirls and flourishes there. We've got uh, very mixed media type stamps there. I really like that one with the dots. We've got the one here with the flowers and the little bird in there as well. Just going to Hope we'll see more of that, actually. I'll probably use that in demonstration. And then we've got the fairies there, which is really lovely. You've got the toastals, you've got the foliage at the bottom there, and you've got all sorts of lovely sort of butterflies and stars in there as well. And then the one at the end, another one of my favourites, actually, because you've got the dandelions in there as well. So any two of these for just 11 99 And they are, of course, polymer stamps. Great buy that, isn't it? 273-432 is the item number. Now, another one of my favourite products is Inca Gold, and we've got some new colours for you here. We've got three different options. So it's one item number again, but three different options. We'll start with this one. I'll show oh, you can't really see very well underneath. I'll show you mine at the pack shot, actually. But if, you, if I just hold it to the side, you'll probably get it best that way. So this colour is called, I think this is a gold one. Let me have a look. This one is champagne, actually, this one. That's champagne. Then we have apricot. These all come together. And then we have the silver, old silver. So it's kind of got that gold sheen in it. It's not a true silver. That's a really pretty colour, actually. I really like that a lot. That's your first option. Second option you've got the yellow green you've also got the hydrangea which is the purple one or the turquoise very very nice indeed these are water-based so not just for using as a gilding wax use them to paint with stencil with do all sorts of things with them they work on all sorts of surfaces as well third option these are lovely as well we've got petrol which is absolutely stunning we've got copper in here as well and we've also got the cobalt blue, which is a really nice bright blue. Gorgeous. $17.99 for a set of three. So you've got the choice or choices there under that one item number, item number 724300. Now let's have a go a look at the website because everything's on there, of course. We've not seen any of these before. This is new today. Uh, just to let you know that the date for delivery, because they're coming from Germany, it's the 10th of April. Not long to wait, is it? We're almost into April. Can't believe it. Absolutely can't believe it. Right, okay. So do have a good look on the website. Don't miss out on those stamps either because they really are a bargain. Now, we're busy for the paint and stencil kits already. I'm so pleased actually because I'm really, really hoping I get to come back and do this show again. 20% of the stock has gone for the dandelion. That's the one that's in the lead, I believe, at the moment. Uh, shall we start with that one then? I think we might start with that one. Uh, yes, I'm going to bring in a piece of MDF. Actually, what I'm going to do, now you can work, I, I've got to tell you, I didn't, my samples were sent out to me, they didn't arrive with a courier because everybody's under so much pressure. So I had to pick up samples yesterday afternoon from here, uh, which only gave me a small amount of time to work with these. As I go through, you know, describing the paint, how you can work with it, different techniques, there is something very important to get one of the particular techniques right, and that is the drying time, which obviously I didn't have a lot of. So I was playing around, I'm just going to grab another sample, and I found that if you don't allow drying time, you can still create some beautiful techniques, some really unusual designs. So I'm going to show you how to do this as well. Now, first of all, I'm just going to grab a piece of MDF just get a blank of MDF and we have got the Viva Decor on the show so now I'm going to go with our selection which is the petrol the copper and the cobalt blue 
just to show you what I'm going to do with these. Now they will work on all sorts of surfaces, on tin, on wood, on MDF, uh, your paper, your card. You can paint with these, you can water them down, you can do all sorts with them. Beautiful colours and you get a generous amount in each pot as well. Now, I did say painting with them, but you can also mix into other paints as well. In fact, I'm going to use some white gesso. I'm just going to grab a brush. This is going to make my base for doing my blob painting. Right, okay, all oh, these colours are just stunning. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a little bit of gesso on my brush. I'm going to go over the top of this MDF. Just sort of go across. I don't want it to dry too quickly. I'm going to add some of the Inca Gold into this. I'm just going to get a little blob. Let's, let's go in order. Let's go with... I'm just going to go with a little blob of the copper. A little bit of the blue and then a little bit of the petrol at the top. You can use a brush, you don't have to use your finger like me, you can use whatever you want. Now I'm going back in with that same brush and I'm just going to swish over the top of that so these are blending together. So they're mixing into that paint, that petrol is absolutely beautiful. There we are, just go across. Now that's a really, really lovely effect and so easy to do. Everybody can achieve that. Uh, I'm just going to give the glass mat a little bit of a clean just before we move on. I have got one that's dry that I did in the same way uh, using, actually I use lavender for this one and turquoise which comes also with a yellow green although there's no yellow green in that one it's just just the two colours in there. The hydrangea is the purple one. Right so what we're going to do now is work with our blob paints. Now this is where it gets exciting. I am going to go with the dandelion set. Now you do get six large pots of paint I've got to say. Now I'm going to give you a top tip first of all because this is something I found. I'm going to give you my mistakes as well as the techniques that I've found. You need to shake them, which you often do with paints, don't you? Give them a good shake. They're very full so you won't hear the paint moving around in there. When I took the top off some of these, the nozzle came off with the top and what I found was to get the nozzle to stay in there was tighten down the lid first and I heard a little bit of a click and then took the lid off and I found it was then in place. So just be careful when you take the lid off for the first time that you haven't, because I did this, that you haven't got your pot on an angle because if you pull that nozzle out, you're going to spill your paint. Okay, so I'm just going to take the lids off of all the colours actually. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. I'm just going to play around with this. Now, something very important. If you want to do the true blob technique, you are supposed to let the layers dry. It does say 24 hours in between the layers and there's a reason for that. But obviously we haven't got drying time within demonstration time and neither did I have drying time within the few hours that I had last night. So we're going to cheat a little bit. I am going to force dry with a heat gun to a point. Now when you're at home, I would recommend try and let them dry naturally. You'll get the better results, but we are going to cheat a little bit. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to choose one of my colors. So let's go for the turquoise. You don't need to prime these. Just hold the bottle of paint above your surface and gently squeeze. And you don't move it around. This is from the dandelion set. Do not move that around. Just squeeze gently and you can see the paint coming out. And what happens is it forms that beautiful dome. And if you're not moving things around and you've got a flat surface, that will just sit in place and you can go in different sizes you can go small you can go large you can go however you want so I'm just adding one or two drops in different sizes of my turquoise okay then we'll go with another color let's go with the pink now I did try making my backgrounds with this paint as well you can water it down to a point but it's it feels quite sticky uh, there's something in it to thicken the paint because this isn't normal acrylic paint, obviously. So you can see there, just keeping still. I can't, I can't really hold this up, can I? Because uh, it, it will run. We've got the overhead there, you can see. Isn't that really effective? I just love it. I'm so addicted to doing this already. I had so much fun last night. Just the single dots really make me happy. <laughs> it's so weird. Now... You can put as many dots down as you like. You can do as many layers as you like, really. But if you want to layer properly, as I say, it's the drying time. 
I am going to first try to a point. Now, I can't do it 100%, but I've got a few techniques to show you that are going to give you different results. So I'm just going to bring the heat gun in. Because I'm force drying this, it may flatten down those domes just a little bit. I don't want a lot of uh, power behind this either. If you're doing this naturally, if you're letting them dry naturally, ideally, give it 24 hours before the next layer. You can work on a big piece, on a big canvas or something like that, and you can spend a lot of time putting your dots down your first layers and then come back to it the next day before you go again. Now, I'm just going to try this off a little bit and put it to one side and bring in one that I did do last night, which has dried more. Hopefully, that can be drying a little bit more as well, and I might be able to come back to that. Now, a quarter of the stock of the dandelion has gone. Let me just bring this one in to show you, actually. This was one, I did force dry this one last night as well. But can you see with the layers, there are one or two mistakes in it because it was the first time I'd used the paint. I'm just going to grab, sorry, I should have brought this in before. I've got an initial, an initial S here, which I've already started on. So this has also been drying. So you can see I've now got two layers on this. So you go down with the first layer, like that, allow it to dry and then you go back over the top with exactly the same method over the first layer. The ideally you want to do smaller dots over the top so I'm going to continue working on this one. Now the colours that I've used on this were, were from, let me just think, they were from the Flower Meadow but I am also using the black. You see that's what happens, that's what happens like if you're not careful. So let me just screw that down and tighten it down. Flower me Meadow is at 20% as well. That's also 20% of the stock gone. My nozzle doesn't want to sit in on this one. This is a brand new pot, this one. There we go. So, as I say, if it happens to you, screw the lid really tightly down and then it will grab eventually and then you're ready to go. No need to prime these. You don't tend to get much in the way of air bubbles in at all. Uh, I've seen the odd tiny one, the size of a pin, a pin head and that's it. So these are now quite dry. They've not had a full 24 hours, they've just been overnight, but for me these are dry enough and they're keeping the shape. So what I'm going to do now is go over the top again, this is black, and again just keeping the pot still and squeezing a little bit out and it will sit into that dome. Now you must work on a flat surface because if you don't, you might get a few runs. And if that happens, it doesn't really matter. There is a technique I'm going to show you where I'm purposely going to make it run. So you can see there, again, the dimension that's coming out, that will sit and it will dry exactly as it is. It's so, I just love it, it is so cool. And it made me think, do you know, if you've got one of those clear uh, phone cases, one of those very plain phone cases, what about doing this onto a phone case? That would make a really, really good cover. You don't need to top coat it. You could do, you could protect it, but I know what will work very, very well if you've got a resin, a clear resin, and you wanted to put resin over the top when everything's completely dry, that will, will look absolutely incredible. So there's different ways of working with it. So there you can see that's how you build up those blobs. You can do whole canvases with this. You can do all sorts of different bits and pieces. Now, what I am going to do is bring in some of the stamps as well. So, just move that one out of the way a little bit more. Now, I've made a background again here using some paints. These are Viva Decor acrylic paints, just the matte acrylic paints. And I've done a kind of similar effect that I did with the Viva Decor Inca Gold, but there's no shimmer in this one uh, because it is just a matte paint. So, we have got various different stamps on the show. Just going to move these out of the way so I'm not mixing my colours up, actually. I'm trying to be tidy. I haven't got as much gear with me today as I normally have, so I'm trying to keep tidy she says. <laughs> right, okay. So what I'm going to do is bring in some of the stamps and we have got a set that's got some beautiful fairies on. Um, I'm going to explain how to use a stencil as well, but I won't, I've got to be honest, I'm not going to use a stencil in my demonstration simply because I wasn't given those yesterday. So I didn't know what they were like until I got here and I haven't got any boards big enough. And for drying time for demonstration purposes, this is going to be much, much easier. So I'm using a hybrid ink here. And I've got my little fairy, and she's going to be flying in from the edge of the picture with the magic wand. So I'll just press that down. So she's just a little bit of a silhouette. There she is, just flying in. 
Now I could paint in her wings with some of the Inca gold as well if I wanted to. So make sure if you're going to do any painting that you're using the right sort of ink. Uh, let's just grab one or two more stamps. This is from the same set. I'm just going to put one or two flowers in the bottom as well. I love these stamps actually, they're such a great buy. Let's go with just off the bottom there. Let's just ink that up a little bit more. I'm going to layer that up a little bit. There we go, just so we've got one or two little flowers in the bottom there. Uh, we have got some toadstools as well. And we have got a little fairy sitting on the toaster, so I might just bring her in as well. Should we sit her there? I think we could, couldn't we? Let's go. Now this one is, I'm saying fairies, but the set, name of the set is actually elves. There's a difference between Aries and Felves. It's elves, isn't there? What, uh, what did I just say? Aries and shelves or something? I don't know what I said then. <laughs> isn't it something about their ears? Do elves have pointy ears and fairies don't, or something like that? Do elves have wings? They don't, do they? Fairies have wings. Oh, well. They are lovely anyway. So we've got our two little fairies there. But of course, so you can build up your scenes, but I want to bring in a little bit of magic with the blob paints. So what I'm going to do, looking at the colours I've got there, I'm going to go for a complete contrast. I'm going to use our flower meadow, and I've got the magenta in there, and I've also got the purple in there. And I'm going to borrow the white, which is either in, you can get it in the dandelion set, and it also comes in our set of seven as well. I've forgotten the official name for that one. So you do the same thing. So I thought rather than spreading stars and twinkles, we'll spread a few little dots. So one or two little blobs. I'm going to get a little bit bigger as I come away from the fairy and they're going to spread out more. Now if you look at the dandelion set, the stencil that you get in there, this is a similar way to how that works. I'm hoping we can bring the image back up for you shortly because you'll really understand what I'm talking about. You stencil on the dandelion stem and then the blobs make the seeds that are flying away from the dandelion stem. There we've got our little pink dots. I'm just going to force dry that a little bit. Just keeping these quite small, just so I've got a chance of them getting dry. Then we're going to really play with the paints. We'll just show you the dandelion again. This is so lovely. So if you think back to how I started with the blobs, that's the way it's been done. So use your stencil first. Make a background with a wash, whatever paint you want. Make a background first. And then you stencil onto the uh, background with your, your stencil, use your dandelion stem there, and then you make the, the seeds with the paint itself. So ideally, again, you need to put your first layer down, let it dry naturally, then go in with your second layer, then your third. You can have so much fun with these. I think once you do one, you're just going to be making background after background after background, I think, just so you can get those blobs down. Right, I, I really don't know that's going to be quite dry enough, but I'm just going to add a little bit of purple over the top. We'll give this a go. I'll just get my glasses on. So very, hold it upright again. Don't hold on an angle and just gently squeeze. And that came out a little bit fast. You can get the smallest bit of detail just with those tiny, tiny dots. Oops, that one's maybe go, go with bigger dots than I've just got there. Okay, and then I'm going to go with some of the white. Oh, I've missed one, never mind. I'm going to go with the white, and I'm not going to go with two layers with this one. I'm just going to go with tiny white dots in between. I'm barely squeezing the tube, to be honest with you. It's, it kind of flows out the end a little bit. One more there. So it looks like she's sprinkling magical fairy blobs. That's <laughs> <laughs> the only way I can describe it. I'm blob painting. <laughs> right, we're going to come back and do something completely different as well. We have got some pictures to show you as well. So let's have a look at these. Now, there's another great one. Now, you do get those colours in the set of seven. You've got the orange or oh, well, the neon. It could be the neon, that one. You get the green 
the orange, the pink and the yellow and the neon, but also in the set of seven, you get an orange, you get a green, you get a white and a red in there. So you can mix these up any way that you want to. There's no rules really. Now look at this, how clever you went. This is why I needed more time. You can really do something clever. Using your background, putting different colors down, making a variation of color, and then how you blend those colors together. It's really, really clever. You can also make these drip as well, which um, I'll probably show you the next demonstration actually, and it's another technique that you can do. But let's give you a reminder because we are busy on the paints. So the first selection, we've got three to choose from. It's one item number. The first one is Dandelion. This is my all time favorite out of the sets. I love all the colors, but I think with the magenta and the petrol, this is my personal favorite. 26.99 is going to get you six large pots of paint. There's 90 milliliters of paint in each and it does go a lot further than you would ever imagine and you get the large stencil as well. Can you imagine using that on a wall as well? Not with the paint, do it straight onto the wall, that would look great. And then you could use paints in a different way, but also onto a canvas. Great wall art with the paints, do those blobs, it looks amazing. Flower Meadow is the next one. So different in colour, this one we, I don't think we actually went through the colours individually on this one last time, so we'll have a look at these. We've got violet, we've got orange, we've got magenta, we've got the yellow in there, we've got rose and we've also got a purple as well. So you've got really pretty colours in this one, very bright and summery. A uh, lovely stencil again, use a stencil with the paints, use them for something completely different, it's entirely up to you, but these are large stencils. Really lovely aren't they? And of course you can use the stencils over and over again. And then for a bit of fun, what about this one? Maybe put this one on a, a child's wall. That would be really good fun in a child's bedroom, wouldn't it? Again, put it onto a canvas, do the blobs for the balloons, make your own balloons. It looks like she's floating up the wall there, floating away with the balloons. Really lovely. And the colours in this one, we are getting blue, we've got grey, we've got green in this one, we've got yellow, we've got white and we've also got red as well. There we are, uh, busy for these. Uh, we do have more paints coming up though. A reminder about uh, one or two others for you as well. The set of seven. Now, lovely colors in here. You've got a, a selection of the paler colors, the brighter colors and the black and white as well. Let's go through them all. We've got red, we've got rose, which is a pink. We've got orange, we've got black, we have blue, we have white and we have light green as well. So a lovely selection. Let me just show you that little book I did again. And we'll, as I say, I didn't have a lot of drying time, so I thought I did quite well to get these to stay in shape in the time I had. If I turn them to the side, do excuse my fingers, they are, you can see the dome. But if you let them dry naturally, they will keep their shape perfectly. It's so clever. Then we have the neons. The neons, lovely colours again, really, really bright. Let me just show you my sample. This one again, there's only two layers on this. I, c I could sort of add on to this one as well if I wanted to. I'm going to take it down to demo area just in case I get time. $16.99 for these. So you've got four colours. You've got your green, your orange, your pink and your yellow. And they really are fluorescent. They're fabulous. 158270. Then we have the pick and mix on the stamps. Um, actually, I've got another little test sample to show you that I didn't show you the first time down. If I just bring this in, because I've used the paints with the stamps as well. Hopefully we'll get time to do a little bit of something. Now, it wasn't on a flat surface, so I wanted to show you this, to show you that if you do have things on a slope or you pick them up too soon, you may distort and move things. But if I just turn that to the side, can you see the dimension on the pink buds? So they're holding your shape. And that's onto paper. So use this for your journaling as well. Um, lovely stamps to choose from. Any two for just 11 99 So you can go for multiples if you want. You can go for more than two. Let's have a look at them. So this one here, we've got, what's the official name? Floral Flourishes, that one. And then we have another flourishy one. Curly, Curly Q, I think that one is called. Grunge Background, that's a nice one, isn't it? Great for your mixed media. This one's really sweet. I like this one a lot. Bird and Butterfly is this one. Then we have the L's, the ones I've just been using. You've got a lot more stamps in there than you saw me using as well. And then this, this one's lovely, Background Meadow. Really do like that one. That's very, very useful indeed. The reason these have been chosen is if you are working with these with your paints, you've got lots of areas you can pick out where to blob. So if you're not sure where to go, look at the stamps and go there with them. 
Right, then we have the Inca Gold, which are water-based. I'm so pleased because I'm absolutely covered with it. There's <laughs> now three options. You've got uh, this one, the top one here, lovely colour. This one is the silver, old silver, that one. It doesn't look like silver at all, does it? But it is, it's such a beautiful colour. Then we have apricot. And then we have the champagne, which is the one at the bottom. You can blend all these together. You can mix them in your paints. You can stencil with them. You can paint with them, uh, mix them with water, do all sorts. Next one, we have the turquoise, the hydrangea, and the green and yellow, which is beautiful. And then we have the cobalt blue, the copper, and the petrol. That was the set that I used in the demonstration there as well. Just 17.99 for three pots, and they're going to go a very long way as well. 724300. Now, if you are a Freedom member, of course, all delivered to your door at no extra cost. Here's Janice. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quote the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family yes thank you janice it's so weird you know because that's the only way we see each other now on the screen it's so strange anyway right i want to have more fun time with the paints because it was kind of, in a way, it was a good thing that I didn't have a lot of drying time because it made me look at other ways I could work with the paints and see what else I could, I could achieve. And I found some really good techniques as well. Now, before we go any further, I'm just going to come back to the, where I started with that first demonstration. So getting those first blobs down. As I say, I've got to keep repeating this. Normally, to get the proper results, if you want the proper domed blobs, as we call them, you would leave a day in between putting the next layer on. But I did experiment. I did force dry. You can do that if you're very careful. Don't overheat it. It might flatten things down a little bit, but you can still work with it. But what will happen as well, if you go straight in with a second layer and the paint is wet, this one has been dried a little bit, so it's probably not going to do exactly what I'm about to tell you, but I'm, I'm going to demonstrate again as I talk to you. So this will flatten down a little bit because the paint under dry, underneath is not dry but you can see that it still holds its shape. It's still holding that shape there, and that is without the drying time. Now, if I go, because that hasn't been heat dried at all, if I go straight on top, and I'm going to go with, um, let's go with this blue one. This, I'm using the dandelion set still here. Uh, this is the same colours I started with. If I go straight in again with no drying time and no heat drying, it will still hold its shape, but it sinks into it. So it doesn't spread and go completely flat. So you can see the difference. So the bottom layer, I've heat dried, so the surface has kind of formed a skin on it. So it's holding, it's holding that paint. So the second layer has remained as a blob. But I didn't dry that one, and you can see that the top has gone flat. 
but it doesn't disperse. If we look at the overhead again, you can see it's kind of an eyeball effect. So you can work with them without the drying time if you want to. So it depends on the look that you want. But you can do much more than that as well because if I bring in another little heart here, uh, it's just a bit of a, a gesso background here. I'm going to cover this up. I'm going to go for a completely different set. Let's choose. I'm going to go for the meadow, I think, which has got some lovely colours in it. We've got orange, we've got yellow, we've got violet, purple, rose and magenta in this one. Now, again, with no drying time whatsoever, what I'm going to do with this one, remember to give these a bit of a shake before you start. I'm going to go in with a few blobs. Now, remember, keep the, the pot still and you just squeeze. There's a lot of paint in these, so you can make different sizes. If I want to keep going, I can make really large ones. Okay, can you see how they just stay in that dome? So I'm speeding up a little bit because I really want to show you what I can achieve here without any drying time. You can also allow these to dry and drip off the edge and you get nice effects doing that as well. Look at that, I just love that. I've got a thing about dots, I adore dots. Right, then I'm going to go in with my rose and I'm actually purposely going to put some more dots down, but this time I'm allowing them, or some of them, some of them to blend a little bit. Now they will touch, can you see where they're touching? But they don't mix. And this is without any drying time. I am actually, our lovely producer Charlotte has just said, oh, just imagine if it was all covered. That's what I'm actually going to do. I'm gonna cover the whole of the surface but then we're going to build the colours as well. So using the violet, again, you can go with different sizes. Let's just put some of this down. I just think this is a great craft for everybody as well. If you want to get the family involved, if you're stuck in at home, the kids are off school, aren't they? You know, this is something everybody can do. Imagine making it a piece of wall out, uh, wall out for your own bedroom. Let the teenagers get involved, the young, young kids, obviously. Um, certain ages will need help. But it just, it's just so wonderful to work with. I just love it. Right, I'm going to go with quite a big blob in the middle here because I'm just trying to fill spaces quite quickly now. Isn't it amazing how it just finds its level? Now, we've had an email in as well. Um, Steve was emailed in. Oh, let's have a look what Steve was saying. He's saying, Good afternoon, Catherine and all at Achanda. Loving the products on the show, especially the blood paints and stencils. That's a big size. Yes, it is, Steve O. Uh, Catherine, love, just wondering how you've tried the blood paints on a project and an angle, whether it would run a bit so it looks like raindrops. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, you can get some really, really, really lovely techniques. Let's have a look. We've got a picture for you, actually. Look at this. Now, so if you go in, as I'm doing now, so the colours aren't dried first, you can let them run, whether it's just down around the edge of your, your canvas or whether you want to let the whole thing run. Just what I would say is play. Put them in your basket, check your basket out and play because <laughs> you really are going to get quite hooked on these. Right, so I've got lots of splodges of colour down now. But that's not right, I need more than that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with black. Now this is from my set of seven. Again, there's no rules as to colours. But while the paint's wet, let's go in straight in with some of the black. So it's not going to dome because the paint's wet, but you can see it holds its shape. So let's just choose one or two of these. I'm not going to do them all. We'll have one or two black areas as well. So you might find that this starts running off the edge as I get closer to the edge. Let's have another one there. And then you start to build up again. So I'm going to go in with some more yellow onto the purple. Let's try that. I might purposely let this run in a minute. Honestly, I could just do this all day long. I just love it. Let's have a bit of yellow in there as well. So you start to build up. 
Oh, now I caught that with the end of the nozzle. So you can do that as well. I did actually use a cocktail stick last night and do a bit of a swirly pattern as well. In fact, let me just bring this little star in. You can use it as a, a, a pouring medium as well. So you can tilt. In fact, let me, I'm, I know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to play. I'm really going to go to town with this one now. Let me just have a look. What else have we got? I'm going to bring in some of the white from my other set as well. Just fill these dots in and then shall we tip it and see what happens? Let's go with a little bit of white. I don't need to fill all the dots if I'm going to tip it actually. Let's go in with a little bit of white into the black as well there. So you can continue to keep building those layers up even with the wet paint. Shall we tip it? Let's see what happens. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> oh, I should have, let me get a piece of MDF under there so I can dribble down. Oh, I like that actually. <laughs> get some really lovely, oh, now that I'm not showing you yet, it's going to be a surprise. No, I need to show you, don't I? I really like this. What about doing this and then letting the background dry and then go on the top again with your blobs, your proper blobs, so you get kind of two different effects in one? Look at that. That is really nice. Imagine that on as a phone cover. That would look really good, wouldn't it? This paint is just amazing. I think it's great value for money as well because you do get an awful lot of paint. I'm just going to just, because <laughs> I don't want to waste this now, I'm just going to make sure every little bit of this is just covered. But you could try doing, oh, now then, have I, got, I haven't brought a cocktail stick with me. I've just had an idea. Look at that. Look at that. Just going to grab... Uh, another piece of, oh, let's just slip that on there so I can let go. Isn't that a lovely effect? What about doing the fronts of your journals? And then look, the drips, you can still see, you can still see how the colours stay apart. They don't all mix into a muddy puddle. So great for your, your mixed media, great for, uh, you know, your backgrounds. Just experiment with all your different mediums. You don't need to waste any of it. I know in demonstration it's a little bit difficult, but uh, can I just show you this one as well? This was another practice one. Now, it wasn't quite dry, and I went and sat something on top of it, so it's got a bit of a dent in it. But that was done in the same way, just using the black, the white, and the green. Lovely effect there. So that's not letting the paint dry at all, so you can see it's gone flat. And then the book, the little, little notebook that I did, I did let the layers dry. I force dried a little bit in between. Um, right, let's have a look. No, I'm not going to use that one. Let's go on to this black. Let's go with the neons. Let's go with it. These are really bright. Okay, so I've already got a black surface. I'm going to put some green down. Let's go. I don't know. I've not tried this before. It's just a thought I've had. Let's put quite a bit of green down. So you see, you don't move your pot. You just put your paint down and let it go. And then I'm going to go with some of the neon pink. Doesn't that look great on the black background? Let's just go with a little bit of pink in the middle. Oops, I dropped an extra drop, but it doesn't matter. I'm just thinking of those famous um, iced buns <laughs> where you drag something through. Actually, that's a nice effect as well. Look how I made a heart, kind of. Shall we go the other way and see what happens there? You, honestly, I'm, I'm hooked on this. Sam, if you're watching, please book another show in. I've got so many ideas now. So you really, really could play with this and just keep going, couldn't you? So we've, we've got all sorts. Let's have a look. Just during this hour, you can drag things through and make shapes. You can mix colours together, tip around, and you get that sort of effect. You can let your dryers, dryers? You can let your layers dry in between so you get the domes, which I've got here. I'll just tip this again so you can see. Let's go to the side a little bit. That's allowing drying time in between the layers. Really effective. Imagine having a whole name done like that. That would look incredible. Then, of course, you can use your stamps as well and work with the images, or the stencils, of course, that come with the, the actual kits. 
do have a go at those so lots of clever ideas there um color in your backgrounds now i've got another one here as well that i did just prep up and we've just got one or two pictures to show you i think as well so let's just remind you of one or two items we have been busy oh, i think i've just got paint on my face uh, <laughs> dandelion kit these have been busy uh, <laughs> this is the one that's got that beautiful I think it's got petrol in it and the blues, the pinks, really lovely colours, the turquoise in there as well. And you get that wonderful stencil, Make-A-Wish. Then the flower meadow, nice and bright. You've got the orange and the yellow in there. You've got the blue, the rose in there as well. Really lovely colours. You've got petrol blue in that one as well. Then we have the balloon girl. So again, you've got very bright colours in there, but you also get a white in there, which is very, very useful. Really lovely. It's one item number, three different options there. And don't forget, you get a different stencil with each option as well. And they're huge stencils. They really, really are. Uh, now, a set of seven. This is a good kit because you're getting a bit of everything, really. You're getting the pale colour with the rose in there. You're getting the brights with the green, the yellow. Uh, sorry, the green, the orange and the red. But you've also got the black and white in there. And you've got the blue. The black and white, I've found, are really, really useful. The neons, I adore as well. They're not colours that I would normally go for, but I absolutely love these. Uh, you've got the green, you've got the pink, you've got the orange, and you've got the yellow as well with the neons. The pick and mix on the stamps, really lovely. Busy for these as well. Any two for just 11 99 You can work with these with your paints. Use these as a guide, bring out the detail in your stamps or just use them as you would any regular stamp as well. And then your Inca Golds, fab oh, fabulous again. Sorry, I said, oh, then I just thought I'd smudge my paint. <laughs> Inca Gold, fabulous. We've got three different options under one item number. Lovely colors, these go such a long way. They'll go into all sorts of surfaces. Uh, wood, MDF, metal. Um, you can mix them with your paints as well. You can paint with them directly if you want to water them down. You get a lovely shimmer, of course, as well. They are water-based. Fabulous. Find everything on the website. I do apologise. I don't know if I've got paint on my face, but I think I might have. Anyway, right. How long have we got left? Oh, I've got about eight minutes. I might get two more things in then. You know what I said about keeping tidy? Have you seen my desk? I don't know which colours from what now. It's a good job there's a guide on the front of the boxes. But I did this one with the neon. These are the neon colours again. So again, just a bit of black paint onto a piece of MDF. And these have been drying just overnight. I didn't leave them 24 hours, didn't have that long. But they have dried enough to form that dome again. So just for in case anybody has tuned in, didn't see the start of the show or didn't see this earlier, I'm just going to form one or two more blobs on top of these again because these will hold their shape because the paint underneath is dry so i'm using the black from the kit of seven just to put that third layer on here you don't have to do them all you can choose layers that have got more um, layers than others choose dots that have got more layers than others you don't have to just do dots either you can do the shapes as well i'm going to show you that if i've got time so you can see they're just using another layer there the black works so well with every one of the sets so if you can afford to do it and go for the set of seven that's got the black and white in and various other colors go for it can you see that i'm trying not to tip it too much because that black is wet but you're going to get that full three-dimensional look there you go what a difference it makes when the paint underneath is dry fabulous right okay so let's just go back to one more of the stamps while we can i'm bringing in um the birds and the butterfly i think this one is got a cute little bird and we've got some nice flowers in this one i've already to show you this look we've got inca gold on here that is just directly onto mdf no water no paint with it it's just the inca gold and i use the champagne the old silver and the a bit of yellow green in there which I think it's kind of mixing two sets together. Uh, if you are going to over stamp over your ink because it's got that shiny surface then you want to go with the right sort of ink. Um, I've used a hybrid ink so something that's going to go and stay on the surface. Now then which one was I looking for? Let's just go for this one as well. So I'm just going to bring in another stamp block. Let's just take this one off. Bring my ink in. Oh, we've had a question in from Sylvia. Oops. Uh, will the paint work on acetate? I'm sure it will. I, as I say, Sylvia, I've not had a lot of time to experiment, but I can't see any reason why not. Um, 
Will the dots pop off when they're dry? I'm going to persuade them to give me another show and I can try all these things. I think it would work, actually. I really do think it would work. I think we'll have another hour of this. I might do some Facebook Lives as well if I can. Any more questions, actually, that you want me to try out? I will try that with acetate. Let me know. Uh, we've another Catherine that's emailed in as well. Does the paint dry glossy? Yes, it does. It does. If I show you again, if I bring in this one, uh, I did add to this one so that the black has been done today. I've just done that during this hour, but the other colours were already done and they're dry. You can see the gloss has remained. But if you wanted to also add resin, wow, that is really, really going to bring those colours out. It really will. Right, now then, I'm not doing a very good job of this, but just get a little bit of ink down there. Probably I should let that dry a bit longer. But what you can do is use your, your uh, stamps and then... I'm just grabbing whatever colours now. Um, let's go with the yellow. Then pick out the areas that you want to decorate. So the centre of the flower, I'm going to go in. This is a neon yellow, I've just realised that. Yeah, neon yellow there, that's nice and bright. I might stick with the neons actually for this one. Let's just go around this flower head as well. These are kind of doodle style. Now, if you're not allowing the drying time, then they will, if they blend together, they're going to not mix, but they can move. So you want to leave gaps in between. If you want to do an all over canvas full of colours, then what would you do? You'd go down with your blobs, you would let those dry and then go again with fresh ones so that nothing's mixing. That neon works really well on there actually. Let's go with a bit of pink in the middle. So with the stamps, you really can pick out the areas. What about making the front of a journal cover or a notebook? using can you see there what's happened because i'm quite close together they've started to blend a little bit so you've got to be aware that you need to leave spaces if you want to keep those dots, dots separately um and it just you just keep building let's go with where's my green here it is just in the background i've got some more little bits already stamped i'm not even really squeezing this i'm just letting a little bit flow from the end popping some colour down. Now what you can do as well, don't forget you must shake these, as I don't think I've been shaking them as I've been going along, but never mind. Uh, you can make other shapes as well. So if you wanted to do something a little bit more elongated, let's just go in with, this is where you can move. So I'm keeping the flow going but moving the paint pot. So I'll do another one. So I start, I'm starting on the tip there and I'm not squeezing too hard, but as I go back, I'm squeezing a little bit harder to allow a little bit more paint to come out. So you see there, that's going to then stay in a dome as well. You could try shaping it if you get a, a paintbrush or a pen, but it's quite a sticky paint. But that's going to sit as it is. If I dry that off, how long we got? A couple of minutes. Let me just see if I can get that a little bit dry. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. If you are force drying anything, and I really wouldn't recommend it at home, do take the time to do this properly. But if you are, if you're really that impatient, just make sure that you don't go with too much power and too much heat, because you may burn or bubble the paint a little bit. I'm just trying to form that bit of a skin over the top, just to see if it holds holds a bit of colour. I've got a minute and a half left, so I'm going to give this a few more seconds. Just keep that moving. Just hoping it's formed a bit of a skin. And then we can go with, let's go with the bright pink. Oh, the kids would love this. So then you can just add a bit of detail on top and start to build again. That one's going to run, but it doesn't matter. So you can see there, you can still build your detail up. So it doesn't have to be a circle. It can be something that runs. It can be an elongated shape. You can work with your stamps. You can tip things around. Let me just bring this one back in to show you again. I'm so pleased with that. Steve-O, thanks for emailing in and making me tip mine up and down because I thought that's worked really well. If I tip it anymore, it might go again. 
but that's worked fabulously let me just show you this one as well that was how i did um wet paint all the colors together letting them merge together and building up the layers as well really lovely do you know we've had a busy show actually i'm really pleased because i want to experiment much more with this i want to come back and do another show and i want to do some really really cool stuff it's such a different way of crafting for me i'm normally all vintage and florally and this has just been an absolute dream to do sam if you're watching thank you very much for putting this together i've had a ball i really really have stay with us we've got much more coming up i'm only here for the one hour today it's the other shift really today but thank you for joining me don't go anywhere there's much more to come have a lovely day <laughs>